Hello there. Recently there has been a lot of discussion about heavy tanks or main battle tanks and light tanks and so on when it comes to deliveries to Ukraine. And therefore today I do not want to talk about a specific tank for once. Instead I would like to explain the differences to you for the ongoing discussion. And let's start with the main battle tanks. This category lists vehicles that have powerful armaments and can go into direct confrontation. Sometimes the so-called dueling ability of the tanks is also mentioned. Examples of main battle tanks include the Leopard 2, the M1 Abrams, the Leclerc or the British Challenger 2. And then let's talk about armored personal carriers. Armored personal carriers can also be used on the front lines and are usually used as support for main battle tanks. Their main task is to transport infantrymen into battle. German examples of this class are the types of Puma or Marder, and Marder they are delivering now. And then there are the Scout tanks. This lightly armed class is primarily used for reconnaissance by various armies. The models must have a high level of mobility, low noise levels and, in addition, excellent camouflage. Sometimes armored Scout cars are also included in this class, such as the German Fennec. And then we have the Armored Transport. This category also has light armament and is mainly used to transport infantry, casualties or ammunition. That's why I put the ambulance on the photo. And then we have a number of special tanks. Apart from tanks used for combat operations, the armies of the world use other models that usually fulfill special missions. This category includes armored recovery vehicles, armored mine clearance vehicles and armored bridge laying vehicles like the Bieber I put on this picture. So if the news now talk about different tank classes, I may have contributed something to a better understanding with this video. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.